previously on Beth and Dave in the morning. Good morning, Beth. I was laughing at your comment about Dave's shoe stinking. It's a true story. Yeah, it is. But I went through a terrible divorce. Mm-hmm. I pulled out the insoles of my husband's shoes, and he's a professional. <laughs> and always in meetings. And I put Romano cheese underneath. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Beth and Dave. He stunk up the whole meeting room. <laughs> Weekday mornings with the best variety of the 80s through today on Light 98.7. So you all know how much I love my Toyota Sequoia SUV. The time has come to trade it in. I am very emotionally attached to my car. My daughter is actually working at the dealership at Nimes where I'm trading the car in to find something new. And she sent me a picture of it getting all ready to be sold. It has like stickers on the windshield. I cried. Well, maybe you have mechanophilia. What? Are you trying to say that I want to, I'm like, a, D- sat, you can love that, your car, <laughs> just don't love your car. There are people. No, I love my car. All right. She always treated as, me good. As long as it's platonic. Previously on Beth and Dave in the morning. This dog sings like an opera star. <laughs> there is Walter, the singing dog from Austin, Texas. Beth, how about that? Huh? Just stepping on his tail. <laughs> Coming up at 8.15, your mama must be so proud, focusing on a moron from our favorite state of the Union, Beth. <laughs> See how talented I am? <laughs> Florida. Oh, my. Beth and Dave. Weekday mornings with the best variety of the 80s through today on Light 98.7. Just in case you're wondering if people are as stupid as you think they are, the answer is yes. Some dude on Twitter went to the USGS, which is the U.S. Geological Survey, who makes himself responsible for things like this. So they're obviously very busy watching the lava flows and everything that's going on. They're like, hey, listen, quick question. Can you roast a marshmallow over the lava from the volcano? See, that wasn't a serious question. This is this is somebody who is hoping that it would go viral and that radio stations all over the country would talk about it. I'm- you think... First of all, you think that he was like, let me see if I can get it. I think that people are serious. I've seen people roast marshmallows over stupider things. But anyway, so the USGS responded was like, uh, no, because it would be poisonous and you would die. And then they were like, wait, on the other hand, go ahead, give it a try. Yeah, (laughs) thin out the herd a little bit. Yeah, but then it reminded me, like in college, I had a friend who tried to make grilled cheese with an iron. Really? Yes. It didn't really work out that effectively. It did It did squash the bread and make it hot, but the cheese stuck to the iron. So you ended up having not so good a sandwich that was half stuck to the iron and totally ruined the iron. Uh, we tried to make stir fry one time uh, inside the engine of the car, like uh, run the engine for a long time, get it all heated up there, and then cook your eggs and cook your stir fry in there. It came out pretty good. You are making that up. No, I'm not. You what? Tried it one time. On the engine but there was a pan the involved, block. but there was yeah. a pan. Well of course. Yes. I don't know. I mean you you're talking about <laughs> cooking inside a car, dude. I don't know what you're planning. Mike's gonna back me up here, right? Mike, what do you got? Yeah, you I mean I I cooked a lot of things on my engine. Uh you just wrap some of hot dogs in tin foil, put them on the on the exhaust, drive to work. Mm-hmm. Warm up your pizza. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Appreciate that. Yeah, it works. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Well, thank <laughs> heat, you. Heat is heat. You know, exhaust manifolds get to be like um, six, seven hundred degrees. You got it. And well, the block gets to be two thirty. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just don't do it on a long distance trip. They're going to overcook them. <laughs> yeah, definitely will. <laughs> thank day, you. Guys. You Bye. too. Bye. All right. Seven two one zero ninety eight seven. I don't even know what part of the car he's talking about. I can show you, and I don't know that much. Oh. You know, I'm kind of dumb when it comes to that. When our car catches on fire, we'll all know why. Yeah, but we'll have a tasty meal out of it. So, <laughs> yeah. Care. It'll be the last one. Stick with us on Beth and Dave. It's time for Your Mom Must Be So Proud. Morons. I mean, idiot. Oh. I'm not a smart man. With Beth and Dave in the morning on Light 98.7. And to the great state of Florida. Boynton Beach, to be exact. Boing. Which is East Coast. And Denny Sanchez arrested for driving over twice the legal limit of intoxication. Well, if you're going to go big, go big. Yes. When police officers investigated his car, they found an empty beer bottle and a still cold, half empty can of beer as well. Cops wouldn't have found anything, however, Beth, if Uh-oh. Sanchez hadn't pulled over to ask them for directions. That's when police officers attending to a completely separate, unrelated traffic matter noticed that the guy was drunk. Isn't that kind of like asking a teacher if there's any homework? You forgot to give us the sobriety <laughs> quiz. Did you do that? And, you know, how how lucky is the guy who was getting the ticket? They're like, can you hold on for one second? <laughs> yeah, and he's right. like, thank you, drunk guy. Thank you. And I love the press release from the Boynton Beach Police Department on their Facebook page. Quote, 
while we're happy to provide directions, the only place you're going if you drink and drive is the Palm Beach County Jail. And we'll show you how to get there. Beth and Dave in the morning. I'm ashamed God made me a man. I don't think God's doing a lot of bragging about it either. On Light 98.7.